definitely see that coming into our, our workshops yeah, in yeah. you know all sorts of age groups and so often driven by like an easy answer you know it's what's wrong why why are you frustrated and that very really genuine feelings of frustrations of no i feel like we're not getting heard you know and as a 15 year old boy not many people are listening to you and uh if if there's then this conversation about um, violence against women and girls and then that that's felt like we're giving voice to the girls and but me as a 15 year old I'm not being heard in that conversation mm. and that's that's a genuine frustration and then um, I mean again it's not recognized in the bigger picture but it's a genuine frustration that they're feeling and they've got all sorts of issues going on in their life or, as most of us did when we were that age and then you hook into the easy answer being the problem is those girls the problem is your classmates are talking too much that they're getting the, the attention there's this thing called feminism which i don't know how it happened like this but has been recast as being it's about attacking men and yeah. you you know there's as with anything there's a there's a few there are like there's a few people who call themselves feminists that do do that but if you look at the absolute core of it i mean the, the all the people we've been mentioning tonight have nothing but love for men and i suspect that everyone we've mentioned would call themselves a feminist or or would say that they're profoundly influenced by feminists yeah you know? so there is actually this like pr problem that that feminism has that means that it's such an easy like uh what do you call it like a it's a a straw man i don't know if that's equitable language but probably not not too much of an issue but you know it's a straw man for these for the frustrations that vulnerable, marginalized men and boys feel, um, where they can be like, oh, the problem, it's that times are changing and you're not getting what you're due. Um, yeah. Rather than saying, you know, what are the issues actually going on here? And if if you're not getting what you're due, is it really the already marginalized women who are taking that from you? Yeah. Or is there maybe other things going on? And then yeah. quite often you'll get you'll get some very sort of upper class, middle class people um, speaking about issues that are not really affecting them, um, and uh, but they blame on they blame on women or they blame on changing times or whatever else. 